Welcome to Laptop Use, Care, and Classroom Routines. This presentation will review how to correctly care for your laptop. It is important to take great care of the laptop that has been assigned to you to use this year. How should you keep your laptop secure and safe in your locker? First, always store the laptop in your locker by hanging it from a hook or by keeping it standing up on its side. Do not pile things on top of your laptop, even if they are small or lightweight. Never leave the laptop on the bottom of the locker, where the screen can be easily damaged by having other things on top of it. If you leave your locker set to pop open when you get to it, instead of having to dial the combination each time, you are taking a great risk. Never leave your locker set to pop, especially if your laptop is inside. Always carry your laptop in the Kent School District case that it came to you in. Carry the case by the handle or use the shoulder strap. Never swing the laptop by the strap. Most importantly, do not leave your laptop for any reason. For example, do not set your laptop down outside a classroom and ask a friend to watch it for you. A responsible student takes care of his or her own belongings at all times. There are several things you can do to keep your laptop safe while using your laptop in the classroom. First, place your laptop on the center of your desk. Do not try to move it off to one side to free up space. Keeping it in the center of your desk will safeguard it from accidental falls. Close the lid to your laptop if you are away from your desk at any time. When you are away from your laptop, you should lock the screen. Away from your laptop means leaving the classroom or leaving your desk, no matter how long you will be away. To lock your laptop screen, you can press the Windows key and the L key on your keyboard. To get out of the locked mode, you will need to press Control, Alt, and Delete keys again and enter your username and password. This keeps anyone else from using your computer while you are away from it. Another good habit is to follow the teacher's directions about laptop use while in the classroom. For instance, if the teacher has asked that you close your laptop lid, close it as quickly as possible. Before you begin taking your laptops home, remember that your charger will remain in the cart. Do not leave the cart area with your laptop until it is secured in its case. The laptop should remain in the case at all times, unless it is placed on its shelf in the cart. First, find your case. Then pick up your laptop from the cart. Slide the laptop off its shelf until you can reach the charger cord. Disconnect the charger cord from the laptop and tuck the cord neatly back on the shelf. Place your laptop in its case and zip the case closed before leaving the cart area. When you get ready to return your laptop to the cart, you will follow a similar set of steps. You will need to remove your laptop from the case. Make sure that your laptop is shut down before continuing. Do not simply log off or place your computer on sleep. Place your computer on its assigned shelf in the cart. Plug the charger into your laptop. Remember that the computer will not charge unless the charger is plugged in correctly to both the cart and the laptop. Then place your case in one of the plastic tubs. When you begin taking your laptop home, you will need to remember certain rules. You will need to charge your laptop at home each evening. Since the chargers will remain at home, you will not be able to bring your charger to school and plug your laptop in during the day. If you forget to charge your laptop at home, or do not charge it correctly, you may not be able to use your laptop at school the next day. Your laptop does not need to be removed from the case to charge. Remember to use the Kent School District case at all times. Carry the case by the handle or shoulder strap. When using the laptop, make sure it is on a table or desk, not on the floor or on your lap where it could fall off. Never carry the laptop by the monitor screen. This is a very easy way to damage the screen or the laptop itself. Simply close the lid and carry the laptop with two hands whenever you are moving with the laptop. Remember to keep the laptop with you at all times. Never leave the laptop alone unless a staff member has told you that you may. Charge your laptop fully every night. There is no reason to use your laptop in your bedroom alone, and your parents should encourage you to keep your laptop where your parents can see what you are doing. Make sure to use your laptop in a common room of your house, like the kitchen, dining area, or living room. Keep your laptop in a safe place at home. A table or desk is a good place for your laptop. Make sure that it is away from food or drinks, and never store it on the floor where it could be easily stepped on or damaged. Make sure to store your laptop away from pets or small children who could damage it or the charger cord accidentally. Do not ever leave your laptop in the car for the same reasons you don't leave pets or small children in cars. In the car, the temperature may be too hot or too cold, or the laptop could get stolen. 
Do not leave your laptop in a vehicle. If you are walking to school, one good option is to place your laptop case in your backpack. This keeps your laptop out of sight. If you don't have room in your backpack, you can carry the case by the handle or shoulder strap. If you are ever in a situation when someone is threatening you for your laptop, give it to them and tell a staff member right away when you arrive at school. Stolen laptops are located through CompuTrace and are retrieved in cooperation with the local police department. We have covered many rules about keeping your laptop safe, but what about keeping you safe? The Healthy Computing Guide gives several tips for keeping your brain and body healthy while using technology. First, move regularly. Get up and walk around. Be comfortable. Take breaks if you need to. Look away from your screen from time to time. Your eyes often need a break before your brain does. A good rule of thumb is for every 20 minutes you work on your laptop, take 20 seconds to stop looking at your screen. Next, check your body position. Are you slouching, scrunched up, leaning forward? Make sure that your body is comfortable. If needed, check the angle of your monitor. Don't set your screen to low brightness just to save battery. Your fully charged battery should last you all day. Keep your screen brightness at a comfortable level for your eyes. Check your keyboard settings, especially when working on your lap. It is best to work at a table or desk. Next, check your lighting. Soft natural light is best for working, near a window but not in direct sunlight. Eliminate distractions to spend less time overall on your laptop. While it is tempting to multitask, the latest brain research tells us it can make you less efficient. Maximize your work time by focusing on one thing at a time. The following is an optional class activity you can complete if time allows. Stop the video now and complete the activity.